manifestation which appears to be an angel in a pillar of cloud by day suddenly comes down to the um the ten uh, where Moses would go in and come out of and all the people seeing the same so not just saying it but you could see the visible proof of it or you could sense the presence of God in the words of, of what was written here even Moses speaking of this um, thousands of years ago we looking to these for examples and seeing what happened to them and how it all works and therefore feeling the same God. So the same um, God that spoke to Moses can also speak to you today. The same presence that God operated at Moses operated in, you can too to this day operate within the same presence of God. Many reading these words and sensing the same presence of God that Moses himself would operate within, would also feel. So, and all the people saw the cloudy pillow stand at the tabernacle door, and all the people rose up and worshipped every man in his tent. So not only hearing it, but also seeing it. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face, <clears throat> as a man speaketh unto his friend. So, speaking to Moses as a friend, face to face. How many of us can say we're speaking to God face to face as Moses did? Moses spoke to God face to face like he might speak unto a friend. So getting very specific things from God, not vague things, not things that have get out clauses, not things that are so kind of vague that you, you can see that they're kind of mincing words and you're not sure exactly what they're saying because they always have get out clauses whereby if the vision or the dream or the, or the said voice doesn't come true, <clears throat> well, they can then explain it away um, through the physical, that it, it was this and then that, and it meant a thousand things and other or, or whatever it meant, you don't know because it's all very vague. Well, Moses speaking mouth to mouth with God, and therefore there's no mincing of the words here, and everything Moses said was everything that God said. Everything that God said was everything the angels said. Everything the angels said was everything Moses said. And Moses operating through not only being visited by an angel, it's one thing being visited by an angel. But if an angel come to you or I today, would we indeed obey his voice? God in another chapter telling Moses to indeed obey his voice. Well, it's so important to obey the voice of the angels. In obeying the voice of the angel, you're obeying the voice of God. In obeying the voice of God, you're obeying the voice of Jesus. You're obeying the voice of the angel. And if you obey the voice of the man that is sent by the angel, which, is, which was sent by God, then you would indeed be obeying the same God that, that sent the angel that spoke the voice, the name within the name, and not looking to the man, but looking to um, God himself, which as is the same as Moses did. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh to unto his friend. And he turned again unto the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. So you got Joshua there staying um, within the tabernacle, Moses going, departed um, not out of the tabernacle, um, Moses, and he turned again into the camp. So anyway, the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend, and he turned again into the camp. But his um, servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. <clears throat> so and Moses said unto the Lord, See thou, um, see, thou sayest, so thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people, uh, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray thee, if I found grace in thy sight, so Moses found grace in God's sight. So everything Moses did as coming from God was a gift. It was nothing that Moses did of himself. It was simply a gift of God. No great um, wonders of Moses' great knowledge or voice or um, riches or great friendships or whatever it was that um, gives a man status and, uh, and fame and prestige 
they come from some um, great nation, some great family or great background or great riches or great fortune or great education or the fact that he was once a prince in Egypt. None of these um, stood here. It was purely a gift of God. God choosing to speak to Moses purely as a gift, not because Moses was such a great man, but purely because um, God had chosen Moses, not above every um, person or nation or peoples or kindreds or nations and tongues, because he was of some particular race and bloodline. No, God simply choosing choosing Moses because God chose to cho choose Moses. He could have chose anyone. He chooses to choose um, Moses as happened. Now, therefore, I pray thee, if I had found grace in thy sight, so a gift of God, the fact that God was appearing to him, show me now thy way, that I may know that I may find grace in thy sight, <coughs> and consider this nation is thy people. So Moses, picturing the nation that he was leading, indeed, this is God's people, not Moses' people. It's not Moses leading the children of Israel, it's God in Moses. It's the angels sent by God, appearing to Moses and the people in a pillar of cloud by day, a pillar of fire by night. So Moses here wishing to see the same God that sent him. He'd seen this angel, he'd seen this burning bush, he'd seen all these various manifestations, as indeed the children of Israel. So he's kind of asking the Lord himself to appear to him now. So God not only is sending an angel, which Moses was told to obey. Indeed, God said, you must obey his voice. In obeying the voice of the angel, in obeying, is, is it obeying the voice of God. And God saying to Moses, my name is in this angel. So the angel coming in the name of the Lord and the name of the Lord in the New Testament is Jesus, who said, I am uh, the way, the truth, and the life. The name of the Lord in the Old Testament is I am that I am. Thou shalt say, I am a sent thee. So it's always Jesus. So Moses obeying the voice of the angel and uh, being led out of Egypt into the wilderness. And now he has all of these people that he has to look after. And they're looking to Moses and Moses saying to them even, you should be looking to God and not me because without God, I can't do anything. I'm frightened to make a move without God. Now, therefore, I pray thee, if I found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. So he's looking for another gift of God, nothing that he's done of himself. He needs God's gift of this miraculous manifestation to um, strengthen him, encourage him, and show that he's indeed on the right track, and that is indeed the Lord himself leading him through the presence of the Lord, through the presence of an angel. And he said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. So God promising Moses um, a presence here, the presence of the Lord here. So in other words, one way of finding out um, the, the will of God is to go with the presence of the Lord. If you feel there's a physical, there's a spiritual manifestation in your life, then you should go with a sense of the presence of God as Moses did. Moses indeed sensing a presence here, the presence of the Lord. And Jesus here, God here, this, um, this angel, this voice of God, God himself speaking to Moses, the Lord himself speaking to Moses and saying to him, my presence. And he said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, Moses saying to the Lord now, and he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, Carry us not up hence. He's kind of saying here, look, we're in the wilderness here. And I have all of these people looking to me. They're looking to me because they're looking to the miraculous. I just can't simply make it alone. I'm not going to survive in this wilderness with all of these people to assume um, mastership and authority over. <clears throat> without the miraculous. They have to look to you, Lord. They don't um, need to look to me because I can't do it without you. I know there's an angel that you sent me. Can you um, give me another manifestation? Can you show me, can you show me that you are indeed um, uh, here too? 
He wishes to see the Lord. 